everybody's tax return is different. Everyone's different. Um, if you have children and you send them to daycare, that's a credit that uh, will reduce your tax that you have to pay to the IRS uh, by having paying dependent care. Uh, so if you have children, you definitely want to get records from the child care center. Um, it would be uh, a letter stating how much you had paid into the child care for which child. Uh -huh. And most tax uh, or uh, child care centers have a federal identification number. Right. Or if you pay, it to a, pay that money to an individual, mm -hmm. we would have to have their social security number okay. and their address. If it's a, a, if it's a facility, we need the federal ID number of the facility, name and address, and how much you pay to them. So you can get deductions for that money that you pay those people. Yes, you don't. You don't get the. You don't get it back. It's just a credit, and credits are used to reduce tax. For instance, if uh, after we do all the adjustments and everything, and we say you owe the IRS fifteen hundred dollars tax, that's your tax liability for the year. Okay. You can reduce that liability by having a credit. Uh, a lot. The, the minimum amount a person credit what they would get for child care is 20% of what they paid. Oh, so okay. if a person paid $1,000 a year for child care, mm -hmm. then um, $200 would be, just for example, a credit. a credit. So I could deduct that $200 be from their 15. Mm -hmm. Now they only owe the IRS $1,300. Right. Um, okay. Education credit. Uh, if a person goes to school, it's an awesome credit out now since uh, Barack Obama had came in office four years ago. Uh -huh. We used to have an education credit called the uh, HOPE credit. It was a credit given to students their first two years of higher education after high school, college. Yeah, college right. um, so it was a credit that reduced tax also. So the person paying for that college yes. could get a deduction on their, a credit on their return. A return. Right based on whatever that percentage is for what they pay. Right, um, and it involves like tuition and books. So whatever you pay for tuition and books, uh, um, you would be able to use that amount. Of course, if uh, all um, educational institutions give a form out called a 1098T, a tuition form showing how much they paid for tuition, oh. how much they got in scholarships, okay. you know, for example, um, your tuition was five thousand dollars, and you got three thousand in scholarship. That means two thousand of that money that you had to pay mm -hmm. came out of your pocket. Whether right. it had been you went and got a loan for it, which mm -hmm. you have to pay pack back, that's out of your pocket. So that two thousand dollar difference of what came out of your pocket plus what you may have paid for books is what the amount that I can use to uh, get a credit. And actually, the uh, the Hope credit uh, was changed four years ago, and it's now called the American Opportunity Credit. And so it's a credit that covers the first four years as opposed to two years. So it was wow. a much better credit. Uh -huh. uh, not only was it a credit that reduced tax, uh, a part of that credit was called the refundable education credit. So even if you ended up with no tax, because credits, again, they reduce tax. Right. So say a person ended up, after we did all the adjustments, they had no tax anyway. Right. So if you don't have a tax, I can't reduce what you don't have. You know, even though there's right. a so how would that work? child care credit. Well, the, on the education credit, it's called a refundable credit. That means even though you don't have a tax for me to reduce, I'll give you a thousand in your pocket anyway for going to college. You know, so it's a refundable credit. It means a credit that you're gonna get regardless if you had a tax liability or not. So that would be the person who's filing the tax. Yes. Now that would be a student then. Well, it just or the parent of the student. It, it could be how they right. Okay. It's the uh, ever who claims that person is a dependent. A lot of times, children in school, um, the parent still claims them as a dependent. Okay. So ever who claims that child as a dependent gets the credit. Okay. Okay. And if the child probably may work a job and make over the amount of money that a person has to make in order to file a return. Um, Say they made ten thousand dollars working that year, and they went to school. Well, it might be a disservice to have the parent claim that child as a dependent because it would hurt them on their taxes. So therefore, the child could claim themselves okay. and claim that credit. Okay. So if the child claims itself as a dependent, they would get the credit. If the parent claimed the child, the parent would get the credit. <laughs>
I'm Juanita Wilson, owner of Affordable Tax and Bookkeeping. You know, it's tax season time, and I love working with individuals and businesses in preparing their tax return. Give me a call at 402-453-4077, and let's see how much money we can get back for you.